Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, and today we have an incredible yacht racing chronograph commemorating a really interesting race. So let's talk about it. Today I am very excited to share with you a beautiful looking IWC Portuguese Yacht Club. This is a limited edition titanium version commemorating uh, the Volvo Ocean Race, which is possibly the most grueling yacht race uh, in the world today. It's a truly worldwide race. I believe it takes eight or nine months with over a dozen ports uh, where the yachts stop at all over the world. They traverse basically every major ocean, hence the name Ocean Race. It's been sponsored by Volvo, uh, who to my knowledge only make cars and not boats, uh, but for the past two decades, I believe, been sponsored by Volvo, and for uh, the past several iterations of this race, have been sponsored by IWC as the official timekeeper of there. And of course, the Portuguese Yacht Club being an excellent watch to commemorate such a race, uh, Portuguese being their sort of seafaring chronograph watch, and the Yacht Club being sort of the sportier brother to that. So that definitely makes sense. I'm a big fan of the Portuguese being sort of an oversized dress watch. That's sort of the space it occupies today uh, in the watchmaking world, I think. But originally, it was meant to be sort of a navigational tool. And the Yacht Club, which in its form now was introduced around 2010, was meant to be an even sportier version of that watch, which is definitely meant to be worn on the water. They make it a bit larger, a bit easier to read, and of course, more water resistant too. Uh, so what makes this particular one spe uh, specifically interesting is going to be the dial. That's going to be the first thing you notice here. This is a carbon fiber dial. There's a lot of unusual things about this watch and about this brand and about this race in general, which really makes me wonder how much about boating it actually is. I'm not super familiar with how carbon fiber is used in boats. I consider that to be a bit more automotive. But then again, I also associate that with Volvo, and that doesn't stop them from getting involved in this race either. Uh, it's a beautiful carbon fiber look. So this is definitely a lot sportier than anything you'd see on a regular Portuguese. And the second thing you might notice was the sheer size of this titanium case. It is 45 and a half millimeters. IWC is always known for making relatively large sport watches as far as you know, all the major Swiss brands go. This is definitely a big one. This is gonna take up a ton of space on your wrist, so whether you like really oversized sporty chronographs or if you actually need something that's gonna be super legible while you're, I don't know what, knocking like uh, sea mist out of your eyes, while you're traversing through the Pacific or something like that. This is a watch that's definitely big enough to do it. Uh, again, there's so many interesting and somewhat contradictory things about this. This is a regatta chronograph. The 30 or the, the hour long chronograph here at 12 o'clock does have the five and 10 minute regatta countdown, which is particularly interesting because uh, the uh, Volvo Ocean Race is not a regatta race. So again, you would not be using this function if you were actually using it in this race. I think it's more of a cannonball run situation where you're just trying to get to the end before the other guy gets to the end. But uh, either way, this is definitely a watch that's going to be used for a variety of yacht racing. So I guess you could keep this in your collection because I assume if you're doing the uh, you're doing the Volvo Ocean Race, you're not just doing that one race and then putting the keys to your boat away for the rest of the year. I assume you've got other things that you need to do because you're a very in-demand yachtsman or skipper or whatever they call themselves. Uh, it's a beautiful looking shape and that's what I love, the sort of more rounded edges. It's not quite as harsh as the regular Portuguese. Uh, definitely here on this uh, satin finish on the bezel here. I like that it sort of tapers into the side of the case and it does give you sort of a firm bezel sort of look, which you're not going to get in the regular uh, in the regular Portuguese. Another thing, the case thickness here, it's going to be relatively thick. I don't have the exact measurements here, but I do love the all satin finish here on the case. That's the one thing you get from the Yacht Club that's going to give it a lot sportier look. And of course, when we're talking about the bracelet, we are talking about a rubber strap here. This is definitely meant for nautical wear. Uh, interestingly enough, but I think this is something that makes it very appropriate for the watch, water resistance on this only 60 meters. This again, not a dive watch, although I'm not sure practically how deep of a diver you would be to have this watch. You could definitely use it for that. But again, this is a watch that is predominantly meant to be worn above deck. And like I also say, say with all regarded chronographs I review, if you do fall off the boat, you have a huge problem in terms of the regatta race goes. So just make sure your watch is going to stay dry, uh, and that's really the key if you're going to be running these sorts of races. Uh, a couple of interesting things here. Just 
one last thing that I love talking about these types of watches is the rotors that come on the back of the IWC sports watches, which is why I love the vast majority of them are going to come with an exhibition case back because they do love showing it. I do believe this rotor is titanium as well. It does seem to, at the very least, it does match the tone and the color of the back of this case magnificently. And of course, the rest of the movement is beautiful to behold as well. The jewels are absolutely stunning and they do shine through the back as well. Uh, we do have on the back engraving wise international watch company as you would expect along with the serial number along with the volvo ocean race 2011 uh, 2012 this is the specific edition of that race that this watch is meant to commemorate uh, all in all love the color really love the carbon fiber finish on the dial it is super sporty but not distractingly so uh, the carbon fiber dials are rarely considered subtle but again i think from across the room this is something that you're not going to really get lost in as much it's not going to jump out and and really distract from it uh, and I do love the way that especially the sweep chronograph hand and the regatta timers do add a little extra color to it so that's also going to sort of grab your attention up front perhaps a bit before the carbon fiber dial does other than that this is a beautiful watch so if you like oversized sporting chronographs if you like ones that are at least a little bit water resistant even if you're not a big fan of necessarily yacht racing or IWC as a brand in general I think this is a fantastic watch if you were looking for an oversized sporting chronograph that still does have sort of a dressier shape even if it's a very very modern type of size of course this is a very specific limited edition watch for a very specific event but if you're looking for something uh, a little less niche we of course have dozens of brands hundreds and thousands of watches in stock from a variety of, of styles and of, of case sizes and materials and precious metal. So of course, give us a call, check out the inventory and like and subscribe to the channel so you can see all the weird stuff that we are getting in every single week to share with you here at SwissWatchExpo.com.